we'll talk about the implementation of linear regression using scikit-learn. My name is Ronak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. To watch more videos on machine learning and programming, do subscribe to the channel. In this video, we'll implement linear regression using the scikit-learn library. To learn more about what is linear regression, you can check out the link to the video in the description. The entire code and the dataset can be downloaded using the link in the description which will direct you to this github page. After this, download the data directory and store that in your projects folder. Let's start with the implementation. I'm using a Jupyter notebook here but you can implement the same in a single python file as well. First, we start with importing all the libraries and the dependencies that are required. We need the pandas library to manipulate the dataset. Next, we, need, we import the matplotlib library to visualize our data and the results. We use the pyplot here. And lastly, we need the linear regression model from the scikit-learn library, which is the main dependency. So from sklearn dot linear model, we import the linear regression class. Now, we start with reading our data into the code using pandas. Make sure that the data directory is in the projects folder. We use the read CSV function here because our data is in the CSV format. We move inside our data directory and use the advertising data set. Let's just check if the spelling is right. And yes, that should be good. Now, to see what the data looks like, we use the head function, which is data.head. As you can see here, the column unnamed 0 is redundant and hence we need to remove it. To remove a column, we can use the drop function in pandas. We have to remove the unnamed column, unnamed 0 and we specify the axis equal to 1. Here, axis is equal to 1 to remove the entire column and the axis is equal to 0 to remove only an index. As you can see in the output, the unnamed 0 column is being has been removed. Alright, now our data is clean and it is ready for linear regression. For simple linear regression, let's consider only the effect of TV ads on sales. Before jumping right into the modeling, let's look at what the data looks like. We use matplotlib, a popular python plotting library, to make a scatter plot. Let us set a size of the plot, which can be 16,8. Then we generate a scatter plot using the scatter function in which we have the TV ads and the sales. Let's color the scatter plot with a black dot with black dots. And as you can see, there is a clear relationship between the amount spent on TV ads and the sales. Let's see how we can generate a linear approximation of this data. First, we convert these values into vectors and then store them into two variables. So x is equal to data of the TV ads, their values, and we convert them into vectors using the reshape function, which is minus 1 and 1. Then we do, we do, do the same for the sales, which is the data of sales and their values which are converted into vectors. Now after this we use the fit function of the linear regression class to fit a line on the x and y values. Let's name the variable reg which is linear regression 
object and then we call the fit function on x and y the minimization of the cost function using gradient descent works behind the scenes here behind the fit function to learn more about the cost function and how gradient descent works you can check out the introduction to linear regression video in the description below now we have fit a straight line to the data set and let's visualize this using a scatter plot again. Now, since the code for visualizing the best fit line is long, I'm going to copy paste it, but the entire code will be available in the GitHub repo. Now here, first we predict all the values on the X uh, data set and then we use those predictions to make a line on the scatter plot. Here, the dots will be in black and the line will be in blue. The X label will be the money spent on the TV ads and the Y label will be the sales. From the graph, it seems that a simple linear regression model can explain the general impact of amount spent on TV ads and sales. This is how we implement linear regression in scikit-learn using the scikit-learn library. If you have any doubts with the implementation, Please use the comments to ask the doubts and also make sure to check the code in the GitHub repo. Thank you.